So you might be trying to figure out how you can connect your iPad to the Magic Keyboard case. Now luckily for you, this is a very basic process, but I will tell you, you want to make sure you buy the proper case for the proper iPad. I ended up buying the 12.9 inch iPad case for an 11 inch iPad. So keep that in mind to make sure you're buying the proper one for your specific iPad. As long as that's the case, you're pretty much almost done. Now, the things to keep in mind with the Magic Keyboard case is that there are no wires or charging or anything like that you have to connect. You don't even have to pair them via Bluetooth. It will automatically connect as long as it's correctly positioned for your iPad. So if you take a look at your specific iPad Magic case, you'll see that there's three little dots on the right side. You'll see the camera cut out here, but you'll also see three dots on the side. If you take a look at your specific iPad, you should also be able to see three little dots on the back. Now, as long as the iPad is properly you know, connectable to your specific Magic Keyboard, you'll be good to go. So what you want to do is you want to essentially align, and there's magnets already here, so you don't really have to do anything crazy. Just make sure that the camera lines up with this camera hole right here. So in this case, all you have to do is go and line up this back camera to this camera hole, and it should automatically connect via magnets. Now you can see I have the wrong sized iPad, but essentially those three dots right there should correspond with the three dots back here, and that is all you're going to have to do. It automatically magnetically clasp into place, and you should be able to actually maneuver through and use that trackpad and keyboard and everything for your specific iPad. Now some people may be wondering if a 12.9 inch iPad can actually fit on a 11 inch iPad you know, casing, and that doesn't seem to be the case. I've tried three different ways of like trying to pair it up via the little three dots on the side, and none of them have been working. But essentially, that would basically be the process to do it. Now, if you wanna shut your iPad case, you can do it so normally. You can also go through and charge up your iPad case via the side right here. There's a Bluetooth port or USB-C port, but that's basically how you do it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.